Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a full face of Kmart makeup. I'm so excited to film this today and I know you guys are pretty excited to see it. This video has been very, very highly requested. So if you guys do enjoy this one, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and I will definitely film some more because Kmart always seem to be bringing out more makeup and more beauty products. So if you want to see more of that, just let me know down below. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button or hit the bell button so you guys are notified every time I upload new videos because I'm sure I will do some more Kmart related videos really, really soon. And let's just get straight into it. So I'm thinking I might start off with brows. I've got this OXX Studio Brow Kit. This one's in the color medium. So what I'm going to do first is dip into the wax here and I'm going to run that through just to create like a sticky base. And if you guys didn't know, I did have my eyebrows tattooed, I think maybe a month ago, maybe longer. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up. So if you notice that my brows already look a little bit more filled in than what they usually did, um, it's because I did get like feather tattooing. If you guys are like in the Melbourne area and like you're interested in it, like I can leave who I went to down below. I didn't get them microbladed. It is just like a tattoo with a tattoo gun. I'm not going to go into much detail about my eyebrows like in this video because I don't want to take up all this time talking about my brows while doing a Kmart video. But if you guys are interested and have questions about that kind of stuff, maybe I can do like a whole dedicated video. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the powder and I'm going to set over that wax. Okay, so I am going all right with the brows so far. The only thing I feel like is a little bit of an issue is using that kind of wax. When I did put that down, I do find um, the pigment definitely sticks better and is definitely more pigmented. But because the wax is so creamy, I feel like my brows might slip off my face or they're just kind of moving around. Because as I am applying like the powder on my brow, I feel like sometimes it wipes away and then I need to try and like stamp it on to really make that pigment show because the wax has kind of moved. I think that's the only issue I'm having so far but I'm going to finish this brow off and then I'll clean them up with a bit of concealer. Okay so I feel like my eyebrows look like blocks because I was trying to build up the color at the front and because it wasn't building as well as I wanted it to I put the wax at the front <clears throat> oh my god I'm losing my voice sorry as I was saying I was putting the wax at the front and then obviously packing the pigment on the front and now I've kind of got like block brows I might try to fix that in a minute but I am going to grab the OXX concealer and I am going to clean up underneath my brows and then I might try to like pat over the front with a beauty blender just so it's a bit more gradient and softer. So I've never used this concealer before. It's in the color 2 Ivory. I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath. It is very dark for Ivory. I'm going to go back in with my concealer and I'm going to put this all over the lid and then I think I might set it down with a pressed powder. This concealer just oxidizes really bad though. Like it goes really dark. So this one is in the shade 2 Ivory. So I'm thinking surely there has to be a lighter color. I think it might be porcelain in number one, but I didn't see that there. So I'm thinking maybe it was out of stock or something because I know in the concealers, they do have the color porcelain. Porcelain. I mean foundation. I didn't even know what I just said. The concealer isn't too bad. Like the coverage I feel like is pretty good. I just wish um it didn't dry down darker. So the powder I've got to set my eyes is the OXX Studio Press Powder. This one's in the color 01 Light. So I originally did pick up another powder like a week ago and I've just kind of come to the conclusion it's going to be too dark and I needed a lighter powder. So I picked up this one. I think it was about four or five dollars. To be honest I didn't realize how light it was. Like this is quite light but I am impressed there is like quite a fair powder in the range.
I am really happy with that pressed powder. I feel like it's really lightened up the eye area. So now the exciting bit, we're going to use the eyeshadow palette. I'm so curious to see what the quality is like of this. I hope it's going to be decent quality. So this is the inside of the palette. Keep in mind, most of the shades are shimmer. These three here are matte. I think that one's matte as well. And that one, the rest are kind of like a shimmer satin kind of shade. But when I was at Kmart, they had a few other palettes. I think they had two others that were this size and had different colors. So I picked up this one just because I was happy with the staple mattes over here. And I felt like, you know, I had my brown, had my black, and then I had a nice kind of lid shade I could work with. If you guys want me to do like more videos on Kmart makeup, I might pick up the other ones as well. I do wish there was a shade in between this one and this one, like just something in the middle, but I'm going to jump into this color. I'm not really sure if that color is going to show up because because it is kind of like a skin tone color. Okay, I don't think this is gonna show up at all. I think it's probably too close to my skin color. I'll just brush it on this eye since I'm here. So the palette is pretty messy. The shadows do kick up quite a lot. That doesn't really bother me. Um, I always do my eye makeup first anyway, so I'm not really worried about shadow falling onto my face. I do always mention like if the shadows are powdery or have a lot of kickback because some people don't like that. Personally for me, not a problem. I'm going to go straight into the dark brown and see what happens with this. I don't know why I had this sudden urge for Chinese food. Oh my God. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this shade. I have had to dip in like quite a few times. I'm gonna go back into that kind of flesh colored eyeshadow and I'm gonna blend out the edges. That dark brown is definitely not like, it's not that dark. It looks like a wash of color on the lid. I am going to take a smaller brush to try and pack on that brown a little bit more. This is a Morphe M507 brush. I have a feeling these are going to be the types of shadows you need more of a sticky base, but I just kind of want to use it as if I would use all my other shadows. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. Clearly the shadow has fallout. I did have to build this color up for quite a while. Other than that, I feel like they did blend out pretty nicely. They weren't too bad. That W7 palette I used in one of my other videos, that didn't blend out. That was really, really hard to blend out. I feel like the quality in the Kmart palette is probably better than that W7 palette I did use. I think it was the Delicious palette. I'm going to continue. I'm going to do the same to the other eye. I'm just going to go into that dark brown and then blend it out with that kind of flesh color and then I'll figure out what else I want to do. So taking the same brush I'm going to dip into that kind of black charcoal color. I'm going to try and build this up a little bit before I go in with my lid shade. I'm not doing anything too crazy today. I just want to see if this would work if I was doing my makeup normally and I was going somewhere special. I will blend that out later. I just want to pack the color on first. It's funny because this eye was blending out good before compared to this eye and now like I just can't get the black to stick on. It's just kind of falling off. That explains like all the fallout like underneath my eye. To be honest I don't know why I cleaned up my eyeshadow before because it's just fallen all back onto my face. So for the lid color I think I want to go in with the gold. So yeah I think I will go in with the gold and I might go in with this one as well. Okay so my brush is damp because I usually do this anyway. I'm actually pretty impressed like I know my brush is damp but like it's showing up really pigmented. Okay, so my brush has um, dried down a little because I did apply the color over here. So you can tell like the color's not sticking as quickly without um, the dampness, but it still is going onto the eyelid. I'm now going to pick up that kind of maroon shade. To be honest, it's not going on my brush very easily. I feel like I've mixed gold into the pan, but this shadow feels really kind of hard, whereas this one's quite soft to the touch. I'll just see if I can apply a bit of this color. Wow, ooh, that's going all over my face. I just wanted to apply this kind of to the outer half of the eye. 
So as I was trying to apply that maroon shade, like all that shadow just came off my eye. It's looking like a mess at the moment. I know like I'm going to be able to make this work because like we're almost done. I just really need to clean up everything. But why did that fall off? Like did it just jump off my eye? I don't think like I'm going to be able to get that back on that bare spot. Like it's just completely fallen off. I'll clean this up and then I'll come back and we'll try out the eyeliner. So next we've got the OXX Studio Define Black Eyeliner Kit. And this comes with the brush and the eyeliner. I think the packaging is really, really cute. So it feels really creamy, maybe a little bit too creamy. Okay, so my eyeliner is done and you probably barely saw any of that process because I always need to have my face so close to the mirror to get my eyeliner perfect. And looking at it from this distance, I'm like, I still want to fix it. But every time I do that, like I always stuff it up. Okay, so my overall thoughts on the eyeliner, I actually didn't mind it. I was a bit concerned on how creamy it was because I was like, if this is just really creamy, it's going to transfer, it's going to move, but it definitely dried down. I could feel it drying down as I was applying it um, which is good so I'm enjoying it it's pretty black you do need to build it up the tiniest bit but it's pretty pigmented and I would definitely use this again okay next product is the OXX Define Lengthening Mascara I think the packaging is so cool I love that it's kind of like a squeezy tube packaging I'm going to curl my lashes because I've got really kind of small straight lashes. I feel like I can never really give a good judgment on a mascara because I don't know, like my lashes are not that great. Okay, so the wand from what I can see is longer on one side and then shorter on the other. So I'm not sure if maybe the shorter one is to get the lower lashes. I feel like it definitely has kind of curled my lashes, but as for lengthening, I don't think it really lengthened them too much or thickened them, but I feel like it is holding like a nice curl. I wouldn't count my review on a mascara because it's just all the same to me. I've also got lashes. These are the OXX Studio Volume Lashes in the style Victoria. So this style was definitely more of the dramatic ones at Kmart. They did have some other ones that were more natural. I still feel like these ones are pretty natural to me you guys know like I wear big ass lashes all the time so this is pretty natural for me I think they look pretty cute okay so I've got my little eyelashes drying down at the moment I think if I didn't have eyeliner on you probably would be able to see the lashes a lot better but I actually don't mind them they're very comfortable really easy to like apply they're really like flexible so the primer I've got is the OXX studio brightening primer honestly this looks so cool in the bottle like it's kind Kind of mesmerizing to look at. So it says on the back of the packaging, create the perfect base for your makeup with this brightening and color correcting studio primer. So that's what it comes out like. It's kind of like green and blue. I'm just going to apply it to my face. I don't know why my voice is disappearing. It always does this. It smells very nice. I really like how that felt on the face. I'll probably throw that into my um, everyday skincare routine as long as it doesn't break me out. That's something I need to film as well. An everyday like makeup routine. I haven't done one of those in forever. The next thing I've got is the OXX Studio Setting Spray. This one is the pore minimizing one. I don't really know if this is going to minimize my pores. I feel like it's just put on there to make people kind of buy it. They had like a matte finish, a dewy finish, and then a pore minimizing finish. All it says on the back is prolong your makeup with this hydrating alcohol free setting spray. Close eyes and mist evenly over the face and neck. So I'm actually going to use this before my base makeup but then I will also use it again after I've finished my base makeup. Okay, surprisingly, the mister on this wasn't bad. It was the first initial kind of spray to the face that hit me. But once you got it going, it was very fine. For foundation, I've got the OXX Studio Foundation. This one is in the color Ivory. I do have a full review on this foundation. I'll have it linked up in the eye up here and down below. If you guys did watch that video, you know that Ivory really isn't Ivory. It goes really dark onto the skin. So I'm not sure how I'm going to go today because I do have a little bit of fake tan on but like not a lot. I feel like it might be a little bit too dark for me but you're just gonna have to ignore it. Just gonna do that. 
I do have to say though, Kmart is stepping up their game. They're stepping up their makeup game. I'm not saying everything is good, but they're improving. There is a few like hits and misses with these products. Okay, so I'm going back to the concealer I used to prime my eyelids. We know that this goes dark, like once you put it on, which is such a shame. I really wish there was like a porcelain shade when I was there, but there just wasn't any stock. So it's not the most full coverage concealer you're ever going to find, but it isn't bad. It reminds me almost of the Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer, except I feel like this one definitely does dry down. The Rimmel one's a little bit more dewy, I guess. I should have picked up the concealer palette because I saw one that had like a pink in there and I feel like that could actually really correct the under eyes. You know, there's always next time. If you guys want me to do another full face of Kmart makeup, I'll grab some different stuff next time and try it out. Yeah, the concealer is pretty much the same shade as my foundation. Well, they're both in ivory, so it makes sense. Just not pale girl friendly or even um, deeper skin tone friendly because the shade range really sucks. So to set my under eyes, I'm going to take the OXX Studio Contour Palette and I'm going to mix this banana shade here with my Studio Face Powder. I just feel like this one is very yellow and I don't want it to be too yellow, so I'm going to mix it with this. I'm going to go into the banana powder first. Now I'm jumping into the studio powder. I'm almost kind of like baking in a way because I just want to really brighten that under eye. The banana powder is like a little bit hard like to get out of the pan whereas this studio one is really nice and soft. I'm going to put those powders on the sides of my mouth and also on the chin. Okay, so for the rest of my face, I'm just going to dip into a little bit of this powder and I'm just going to lightly set all the other spots. My stomach, oh my god, is making so much noise. I wonder if you guys can hear it. <laughs> that powder definitely brightened the under eyes. So I do have another pressed powder here. This one is not the studio range. This one's just kind of like the normal range. This was only $2. This one is a little bit dark, so I'm going to try and bronze up my face a little bit with it. So that darker pressed powder didn't do too much, so I'm going to go into my contour kit now. So this contour powder isn't the most pigmented thing, like I've had to kind of scrape into it. Okay, so next thing we're going to move on to is this blush here. And I'm sorry if you can hear my washing machine. It's really, really loud. So this is a baked blush and this is in the color 2 Apricot. If you guys don't like shimmery blushes, maybe stay away from this one. I don't really know how I feel about it. I didn't expect it to be this shimmery because it's really like reflecting off my cheek. So the next thing I'm going to use is the OXX Powder Highlighter. This one is in the color Ice Queen. It doesn't actually say it anywhere. I know it said Ice Queen on the box, but I can't see the name actually on the packaging. It's very powdery. It's going everywhere. Okay, it goes onto the face really easily, so be careful. This highlighter is really, really pigmented. I can't even remember how much this was. I think it was only a couple of dollars. They didn't have a huge choice for highlighters. My nose is beaming. I'm going to put some on the inner corner and also the brow bone. Wow. So I just went and put a hoodie on because it's bloody freezing in this house and I don't even care about looking good right now. I just want to be warm. Okay, so all I have to do now is my lower lash line, mascara, I think lipstick, and that's it. I'm going to jump back into that kind of chocolate brown and maybe I can hide all the creasing with the eyeshadow. Oh my god, I'm so angry right now. Like I'm so, oh, I'm so angry. Okay, I've put that mascara on and my lower lashes have touched my under eyes and it's put black 
on my under eyes. I'm hoping it's going to dry and I can just flake it off. So I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to leave it and we're going to do lips while it dries. So for lips, I've got a bullet lipstick. This one's in the color Henry Ford and apparently it is a satin lipstick. Unfortunately, I don't have a lip liner, so I'm going to just chuck this on. So the last thing I'm going to do is set my face with some setting spray. I can tell you now, like, it doesn't minimize my pores. Okay guys, so that's it for my full face of Kmart makeup. If I had to choose my favorite things that I use today, it would be the foundation. It would be that studio powder. I really, really like that. I did like the brows as well. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like the best thing I'd ever used in my life. I also didn't mind the highlighter as well. I thought that was pretty nice. Everything else was a little bit like, eh, like I'm not sure. The concealer was just too dark. It just dried down really dark on my face. The banana powder in the contour palette was a little bit too yellow for my liking. Um, so yeah, I had to mix that with the other powder. So I think the product I had the most trouble with was the kind of bronzer and the eyeshadow palette. Like this eyeshadow palette was $10. I would prefer to put my $10 towards a BYS palette or a BH Cosmetics palette or a ColourPop palette. I feel like you will get better quality putting your money towards maybe those brands. This one wasn't amazing, but I made it work. So basically, if someone did ask me if I would purchase this palette again, I would say no, just because I know I can get better stuff for the same price. I also forgot to mention that I did like the gel liner. The mascara and lashes weren't bad. Um, they're just not very memorable to me. Like I'm not dying to go out and buy that mascara or the lashes again, but the gel liner I really was pleased with. It was pretty easy to put on. Also, I'm not sure if this setting spray actually works. The lipstick was all right. It's not my favorite color and it's not like extremely pigmented. It is a satin lipstick. It feels good on the lips. I don't think there was really any colors I found in Kmart that I liked anyway, but it feels good. It's not drying or anything, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy this Kmart makeup tutorial, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up for me. Let me know if there's any other like OXX makeup you want me to use or the Fifth Avenue makeup that's in Kmart. I'd be happy to use that as well. And I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.